So let's graph this equation y equals 1 minus 3x. And we're going to use a table of values to do this. You could use slope intercept form. In this case, it's probably easier just to put some values in for x, find y, and then graph those points. That'll give us the equation for y equals 1 minus 3x. So I'm going to choose some values for x. You can choose anything you want. I'm choosing these because I think they'll make it easier, give me points I can graph here that'll fit on the paper. I like to start out with 0 for x because 3 times 0, that's just 0. So 1 minus 0, that's 1. So we have the point 0, comma 1, and we can graph that. Next, let's just put in 1 for x. So 3 times 1 is 3, so 1 minus 3, that gives us a negative 2. So we have another point there, 1, negative 2. And finally, let's put in, let's say, 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So we'd have 2, negative 5. And again, 0, 1, and 2, those are numbers I just made up because I thought the points would be on my graph paper here. So now we just graph them. x is 0, y is 1. x is 0, y is 1. Let's do another point. x is 1, y is negative 2. So 1, negative 2. And you could graph with just two points. I'd rather use 3, though, in case I made a mistake up here. x is 2, y is negative 5. So x is 2, y is negative 5. And you can see they all line up. Let's put a line through that. And we'll put arrows here, show that it goes to infinity, and that is the graph for y equals 1 minus 3x. And again, you can use whatever values you want. If you used a different value, you'd get a different point, but it'd still be somewhere on the line for y equals 1 minus 3x. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.